Greetings and salutations, my name is Domingo Martinez and today I'm going to show you how to use a PIR sensor. Inside this PIR sensor is actually a pyroelectric sensor made up of a crystal that can detect any kind of infrared rays that are being emitted. So if a warm body or any, you know, any creature walks by, uh, it produces some sort of radiation and that temperature change is, is detected across the crystal and the crystal generates a voltage and that voltage can be sensed and inputted into this Arduino. And we can utilize that information to output some other activity. For instance, an actuator could move. So what I'm gonna show you today is how to use a PIR sensor, a motion detector, to move a servo. And the servo could re represent anything really, any kind of actuator that moves. Usually you use a motion detector to kind of utilize um, some light. So for instance, when somebody walks into the bathroom, the light turns on, or if somebody walks by in your backyard, you know, the porch light is going to turn on. So, or the patio light is going to turn on. So actually, let's go ahead and incorporate a, an LED to represent that light. And we can actually move both the, the servo and light up the LED simultaneously if there is a warm body present. So I'll connect the LED to pin 6. All right, so let's go ahead and code this up. So the first thing you want to do is incorporate your uh, servo library since you're including a servo. So let's go ahead and include that library by typing servo.h. And we're going to create our variable. So to create a servo variable, you got to type the word servo first, and I'm going to call it my servo. Um, let's go ahead and create our variables for the LED. And the LED is connected to pin 6 and your servo is connected to pin 9 and our PIR sensor is going to be connected to pin 2. So let's go ahead and call that PIR, set it equal to pin 2. And let's go ahead and identify our inputs and outputs. So this is going to be outputting information because you're moving an actuator. This is going to be outputting information because you're lighting up the LED. This is your input device because any warm body that passes by emits radiation, which is detected by the crystal inside. So let's go ahead and identify those by saying pin mode, input, and output. Okay, so PIR is your input. Pin mode, um, LED is your output. And then my servo dot attach to pin 9 that's going to be your output and let's activate our serial monitor here so that way we can print information so let's go ahead and type serial dot begin 9600 for our baud rate so just to read the information coming out of our PIR sensor let's go ahead and um, create a new variable let's call it val and let's set it equal to digital read and we're going to read our PIR sensor. Let's go ahead and print that information out by typing serial.println. And we're going to read val. Let's do a delay here of 10 microseconds. Okay, so let's go ahead and... If we click on the PIR sensor, you notice a little uh, circle that pops up. And notice it's dishing out a zero. If I move this circle, it's going to start dishing out a one. If I leave it alone for a while, you'll see that it goes back to zero. Okay, so we're going to utilize that information to create an if statement to actuate our servo and to light up our LED. So inside of our void, inside of our void loop, let's go ahead and incorporate an if statement. So if val is on, so if val is high which means it's uh, reading a one. If val is high, let's go ahead and um, light up our LED. So we'll say digital writes LED high, and we'll say servo.write, uh, I'm sorry, my servo.write, and let's go ahead and move it 70 degrees. Otherwise, else, let's go ahead and turn off our LED. So digital right LED low 
and we'll go ahead and move our servo. We'll initialize it to a position of 10 degrees. So let's go ahead and just type in 10 here. And let's close our else statement. Let's go ahead and press play here. Let's start our simulation. So if I move, you'll notice my LED is lit and it rotates 70 degrees. My servo rotates 70 degrees. Once no motion is detected, the LED is turned off and my servo um, goes back to 10 degrees. Okay, so there you go. That's how you utilize a PIR motion sensor. And I hope this video helps. If it did, please subscribe and I would really appreciate it. Thank you.